Hey, here's a quick idea and concept that I've wanted to put out there for a while. Um, I've always struggled with managing a to-do list and a calendar, looking at both of those together, saying, you know, looking at my day from a calendar perspective, not too bad. Looking at my projects and to-dos, not too bad. When I put those together, I struggled. And um, I just always was trying to fit more into the day than physically possible. Probably still do that a little bit, but um, here's a tactical video that just shows how I use a tool called Todoist and uh, using Google Calendar, put those two together. And I call it kind of my Tetris idea of uh, looking at my day from a prioritization process. So hope you enjoy this video. I'll uh, we'll be interested in, in your feedback in terms of showing things through a screen share and if this is of value. Um, again, uh, the purpose of everything that I put on KevinHikens.com is focusing uh, one myself on making every step count and then starting to show this information. So uh, again, not suggesting that you change your process, but uh, I know that I've learned a lot from others over the years and I wanted to put this out there. If you have a better way or other suggestions, send those back to me. So here's to making every step count. Enjoy the so video. Let me explain what I call my Tetris system. It's, it's simple. It's the implementation of a calendar and a to-do list all in one view. Um, the situation that I would get into is I would look at my day and I've taken a day out into next year as an example. Um, and I would look at my day and say, okay, there are personal things. So a couple of kids activities. We have three kids at home. Uh, there are things that I personally need to accomplish in the period of a day. And a lot of these happen at night. Um, that was the first thing. And then, you know, with Google Suite, G Suite and Google Calendar, uh, you can now implement your calendar with your home calendar and your work calendar together. And now I can see all the things, meetings and calls and, and activities that happen throughout the day. And so what I would do is I would look at this list and I'd say, you know, this is not going to be too bad today, uh, looking at uh, what I had to accomplish or meetings. Um, I would look at this. In another function, I would look at, these are all the things that I need to take care of. So work projects, uh, test task, uh, you know, different projects, task one, task two, task three. And what would happen is if I lay my tasks for the day alongside with my calendars and calls and activities, it would get like this and I could never keep up. So when you integrate uh, Todoist and Google Calendar together, um, what you can do is have this visual look. So now I can drag things around and I can say, okay, I'm going to do this work project here, this task, I'm going to move this down to here. Uh, I can't do two things at once here, so I'm going to move this one down here. Uh, this is what the day starts to look like. Um, if I want to shift them from this day to this day, I can go over here. And what you'll notice is my to-do list updates with the calendar. Likewise, if I'm going in and prior... So let's say that we want to add a new test, 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 and we're going to have it uh, on this date at uh, 10 a.m. We've dropped that in. You'll see that it will sync over to this area. And, and again, I can prioritize my projects over here. You can see how that showed up in this situation. Or I can move things uh, on my list. So if I'm looking at uh, this project and it's set up for 11 o'clock, I can move it this way. Or I can go over here to this task and say, you know what, let's move this till 4.30. Again, for me, it was simply looking at the entire day and looking at you've got personal things from your family standpoint, especially at, you know, at nights and on the weekends. Uh, you have work commitments. And then we all have these projects and tasks that uh, line up. So I really like being able to do what I call, which is, uh, you know, this Tetris uh, movement. And every day I can come in and, and kind of move things around and say, do I want to move this calendar? Do I want to move this to do? And then you start to look at where you're located throughout the day. And maybe you want to bunch some tasks up. So maybe this makes sense to do this at three. I'm going to be in a good spot and I can do this one right after that. And this is real quick so I can drop this in. Again, it's a quick way to uh, do calendars and tasks. Last thing that I would say is people would say, well, why don't you just drop your to do's on the calendar? And it's simple. Um, let's say that I go in and put a new calendar thing that says I need to do something. I need to do something. Oops. The problem that I ran into is that if 1130 came and went and I actually didn't get this accomplished, then my alerts were gone and I might or might not remember to go back and do that. 
If I drop it in my to-do list, then every day I've got a working list of things that I need to accomplish. The things I don't get done today, I will just move ahead to the next day. Did not get to that, did not get to that. So simply move these calls, tasks, emails ahead. Uh, that's why I like the use of the task um, application in conjunction with the calendar, bringing these together, and then every morning using the uh, ability to go in and, and prioritize this.